Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got in here. So it says luminous watch hand radium paint. Okay. Where's the detector? I think it's under there. So, okay. We're gonna take this, yeah. It's definitely um, registering high levels of radiation. So let me take this downstairs and I'll reset the counter and uh, we will um, see, how, see if we can get a spectrum of the radium dial. Very cool, huh? Okay, so here we go. We'll start a new run the uh, radium clock dial right next to our detector and we'll run that for about a week and see what the spectrum looks like from uh, radium should be very cool huh okay okay so here's our radium spectrum and I found something else cool that you can do to replot this. So the yellow one is the spectrum, the green trace is the background. And if you go into the gear setting up here and you uh, go down to display background, you can uh, graph the spectrum, the difference between the graph and the, the spectrum. And so it graphs it as a purple graph. So this is subtracting off the background. And uh, that's an interesting way to do it. Okay, actually I think I liked it better the other way, possibly. Okay, so you can see a bunch of different radium peaks here. There's a radium peak, uh, where is it? Uh, let's just zoom in here a little bit. Iodine. Uh, Okay, there's a there's a radium radon peak there at uh, 261, one at 271. I guess that's a lead peak associated with radium. Uh, actinium, uh, 228 at a uh, 342. Oh wait, that's not it. Where is that? Okay, that's it. Lead, 214 at 352. There's another radium peak down here at uh that's actually actually a radium peak at 186 keV 226 and there's another radium peak I believe over here okay bismuth 214 and I believe there's a couple other radium decay chains yeah one right there bismuth 214 at 1120 keV and another one here at uh, bismuth 214 at 1760 uh, KeV. And so this, this radium spectrum is actually quite a bit different than the other spectrums that I've seen. Of course, that potassium is probably the background. Let me, let me just turn it back so we can uh, see the plot as it was before. Okay, so uh, anyway, this is our radium spectrum. Very cool, huh? Okay. And it's definitely different than the other ones, the, the americium and the uranium that I've taken so far. So if you saw this spectrum and, and you compared it to the other ones, you would know what your unknown is because this, the shape of it's very different. Very cool, huh? Uh, okay, here again is the uh, chart of nucleides. And let's just take a look here. Um, where does radium come from? So... Here is, uh, this is uranium-238, which is the main isotope of uranium. And uh, uranium can, uh, let's see, what, what do we say? 
mostly alpha decay. So alpha decay, remember, goes two down on the diagonal. And this is beta minus. This is, uh, what is that, thorium-234, beta minus to uh, Pa, paractium-234. Uh, Remember when it's traveling in this direction, the, the atomic number, or the atomic mass stays the same. Um, okay, and this is uranium-234, which I believe has a pretty short half-life compared to the other ones. So it will alpha decay. See, it has a pretty high probability of alpha decay. So that's 2 down this way. So that's thorium-230. Thorium and then uh, it will decay to radium. And here is radium. And radium is a very, very active element. It has a half-life of 1,600 years. And uh, gives off some gamma rays. And then it, it quickly decays into a bunch of other things. On, de on down to radon. Uh, 222. And then finally to lead. Okay. So here's our uh, isotope that we're looking at. Radium-226. Okay. And um, let's see. There we go. Radium-226. And uh, they used to use this in uh, radium dial paints. Paints that would glow forever. Nuclear powered or atomic powered uh, uh, phosphorescent. Very cool stuff. And then they uh, banned radium for some reason. Don't believe everything they tell you because they're a bunch of liars. Remember, radiation is your friend, and it'll be your savior. It's the only thing that can uh, replace fossil fuels. And, uh, you know, one thing you'll notice is that all these global warming frauds, you know, the, the global warming is a lie. It's created, you know, by the uh, powers that be to uh, have an excuse to create a one-world dictatorship, the New World Order. And... Um, you know, if, if they really wanted, if, if global warming w was really real, they would support nuclear power. But they're against nuclear power and they're against fossil fuels. They basically want to uh, use bureaucratic uh, crimes to put you back in the Stone Ages by taking all the means of energy away from you. And uh, nuclear power is definitely a good form of energy. It's safe. There's a lot of ways it's safer than uh, fossil fuels. And, uh, could, <laughs> the truth will set you free. Uh, there's radium. Great power source that's been banned from, uh, use by the general public. Okay, let's do some data analysis of radium. Okay, so I imported the, uh, radium file and the bin number, and based on my calibrations, I, uh, uh, figured out what the energy of each bit is, or the delta energy, and so I multiply it. It's about 11.6 keV, or 11.6, yeah, I believe that's right. These are in keV, I believe. And, uh, yeah, because this is, uh, 3 megavolts energy. And so let's plot it. This is a linear scale of the radium. It's got a low peak and then some other higher peaks, which you don't see in the, in the other spectrum that I've taken. This is the log uh, plot of it. Let's take a look at that. Okay, and um, let's do a comparison. So I uh, imported, since I've already done the spectrum of um, americium and uranium, I imported those. And here's the three spectrum overlaid over the whole range. Radium's blue, americium's orange, and uranium's yellow. And let's, uh, since this is mostly flat, let's zoom in a little bit. You can see these peaks down here are at different energies, and the radium has more spectrum that extends up here and another line up here further. And um, here, let's blow it up even more. Okay, so here we go. You can see that this is, a, what, 100 keV, so you can kind of interpolate, but I believe I told on the video, when I was taking the video, I had the cursor over top of um, these peaks. 
Uh, I can tell you exactly where they were. So americium has the lowest peak. <coughs> Radium has one in the middle in between. And uranium has a higher peak. And uranium has a second peak up here. Radium has a spectrum that goes out quite a ways. And then it drops off. Okay. So there is the uh, three different spectrums compared. So if you had an unknown, you could probably definitely tell. If you, if you knew it was one of these three, you could probably differentiate which one it was based on the spectrum taken by this guy. And I'm going to continue to do uh, more spectrum. I think the next one is going to be um, uh, thorium. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, very cool. So. There'll be more of these to come. This is Dr. Jaynes, and thanks for watching.